Then let's jump into it. The big news that came out. Obviously, they have you quote unquote on standby for the potential fight against Ryan. Right. There's the name Ryan. There's also the potential fight versus Catterall, right? But talk to us a little bit more what your emotions went through when they said, hey, would you like Ryan? Or how did all it all start? It, for me, bro, all those, all those are fine. You know, I mean, honestly, listen, Ryan not on my level. Boxing wise, now he is a social media sensation, 10 million followers, something like that. He's huge, don't get me wrong, but on a boxing front, bro, he's not on my level. I'm a two time world champion at 140. He's never even won a belt before. I know he said, you know, belts don't matter stuff, but of course, belts never matter to somebody that doesn't have a belt, you know. But listen, bro, I would love that fight. Um, I I would absolutely love that fight. Why would you love that fight? It's just because it would bring the more. It'll bring me. It'll bring me a lot of uh, fans. You know, it'll definitely bring me a lot of fans and stuff like. That. It'll be a. You know, it'll be. I think it'll be a huge fight. Not even just for me, but for him too. Mm -hmm. I think it'll just be a huge fight. So, yeah, I think that's. He will want a belt. He will want some. I have. I will want some. He has. So I think that'll. I think that'll. I think that'll be a real big fight. Your skill sets that you have. You think that'll be the biggest pos possession going into the fight? You know, because obviously Ryan. You know, he's quick, he's a slight little bit taller than you, but you obviously you have the technique. You have, you know, the fundamentals of boxing. Obviously. Yeah. So what what would be so uh, interesting about that fight going into it? I just. Well, I think my skill set, bro. I think my skill set is just bro, like higher. I think mm -hmm. my my skill set is higher. I'm more experienced. I have a higher IQ, and obviously I hit real hard, and I'm mm -hmm. I'm I'm rugged. You know, and I I mean, listen with him. I mean, I just don't think he's battle tested like I am, and I don't want to call him soft because he's a fighter. But I don't think he's as hard as I am. That's the thing. I really, I, I think he's. I could call him soft compared to me. I can't say he's soft because he is a professional fighter. He did get dropped by Luke Campbell. He got off the um, canvas to to get a stoppage. But Luke Campbell and me, we not in the same. We not in the same boat at all. At no, a close. You know. So I feel like if I hit him like that. Um, it's not gonna be good. You know? What about that? If that fight doesn't come around with Ryan, obviously politics play, putting in place. What about the fight with Tank? I know you have you've always had some words for Tank. Always, yeah, that's cool too, bro. Like, listen, bro. Like, I'm I'm one of the I'm one of the people. I feel like I'm one of the rare people in boxing to where like I have a belt, bro. But I'm not scared to lose or nothing like that. Like, I'm I want to give fans the best fights. I want to fight the best fights. I'm a competitor. Like, I'm not gonna. I mean, I feel like you know you got like right now boxing. Um, what people do in boxing right now, they get a belt and they sit on it forever. You know, like I feel like me, bro. I'm not, I'm not worried about. It. I'm a competitor. I want to fight the best people. I want to be. I want to go down in the Hall of Fame. So I'm not gonna go down in the Hall of Fame fighting a bunch of nobodies. You know, and I, I don't want to call people bums because they all fighters. They get in the ring. You know, and, and they do I fight for money, that. you know, but still, like, I, I want to fight people that's on my level. And I want to fight, I want to have a fights where you don't know who's going to win, right? I know, I, I know the outcome, but I want fights like my last fight was a pay. It was, people said it was a 50 50 fight. I want fights like that. I want fights where people that, you know, they don't know, they don't know who's going to win. That's the fights I feel like that we need in boxing that's going to really attract a lot of people in boxing. Not, we, like, right now, we get a lot of fights where, all right, we know he's going to win. Mm -hmm. We just want to know how he's going to win. Exactly. Right? We know he's going to win already. We want to yeah. know how he's going to win. I want to fight fights well. Yeah, I want to fight fights well. All right, they don't know. And I want to, you know, I want to go out there and just for me prove prove that I'm the best, bro. Did you get the call, you know, for the potential fight against Ryan this week? And if so, like, have there's been a rumor maybe of a, of a date? Because if they throw it in at April 15, it might not be uh, potentially fair for you to have a full camp. Good on April 15. Oh, April, you're good on April, April, April 15. 15 so you. I mean, I would listen if they call me. You know, obviously, you know, I got I got the news and stuff like that like a few days before it kind of came out. But oh, okay. it was like, listen, like you, it, it's a it's a potential, and I'm always in the gym, bro. I'm always training. Now I'm not right now. I'm not training, you know, like I am in training camp right mm -hmm. now. But I still last week I sparred two days a week you know mm -hmm. i'm still doing strength conditioning i'm still doing that type of stuff i'm just not kicking it up all the way yet until i get a fight day but bro i'm so like, april 15 wouldn't matter and yeah, april 15 well they will let like april 15 now wouldn't matter but they i don't want them to tell me you know two or three weeks from now oh we we gone we gonna april yeah, 15 yeah. then it's like come on don't, yeah, yeah. don't try to play games with me you know? exactly so yeah. i wouldn't want to do that but yeah bro like if it's if they tell me right now april 15 oh i'll be good for sure going back to the first question uh when i spoke with timothy bradley uh, after the performance of Teofimo Lopez versus Sander uh, Martin, mm -hmm. we brought up your name again, and uh, he was like, nope, don't put Regis in there with Teofimo just yet. Right, right, right. Not potentially in those words, but basically like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Why do you think he said that? A view facing Teofimo Lopez. Um, Teo. Well, after that, I mean, just look at Sando Martin. Is a he left-hander? He, you know, he, he moves a lot. Slick. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm slicker than him. I'm left-handed also. Mm -hmm. 
and my power is just, you know, five times the Sandal Martin, you know, and no disrespect to him, but, you know, I have way more power. So if I hit, and, and he, he dropped to your finger, you know, so if I hit him with those same punches, and then after that, we all saw, the whole world saw, he questioned himself. I know that about you now. You know, if I'm, if I'm like, listen, we, I have to, if we ever fight, I have to look at this man. I have, if, I, if we ever fight, I have to look at this man in his face, in his eyes. I know you question yourself. So already right there, mentally, I know you weak. And I'm mentally, I'm on another level, bro. I'm not gonna lie, compared to a lot of people in this boxing game, mentally, I'm super strong. So mentally, I know he's not strong. He's weak mentally. So I'll break him. I, I feel like I can break him in a press conference, bro. I definitely feel like That's what I was before we ask fight, you. before we fight, bro, I'll break him. Just before, I wouldn't even have to throw a punch at you. You're gonna be broken already. So. You think that'll be the advantage going into that potential fight? Oh, for sure. Lopez I think mentally, yeah. Down? I think mentally, I'll break them for sure. Before we even fight, we got to do press conference. That'll be a big fight. So that means we'll have to do a bunch of press conferences before. I'll see him a bunch of times. Mentally, bro, I'm going to break you. You're going to look at my eyes and you're going to feel me. When you look at my eyes, you're going to see what I'm about. You know, you can, you can, some people, you can fool them and stuff like that. But, bro, like, with me, like, he'll look at my eyes like, damn, this man is coming to hurt me. And that's what I'll do. Regardless of any fight that comes up, Ryan Garcia, Tyrion Davis, Teofimo Lopez, Caterall that was brought up too. Right, right, right. Your name is just thrown out there, regardless. Champion, of, champion, yeah. champion again. You know, yeah. once you get a belt, that's just how it is, bro. You get a belt, and then it's just like you know, that's everybody's well deserved, yeah. You know, that's just how it is. Yeah. You know, so for me, as a like, listen, I, you know, I'm, a, I'm gonna put some stuff out later, but as I knew I was gonna be back at this point. I was a world champion mm -hmm. three years ago. I knew I, I knew I was gonna get back to this point. It didn't surprise me, and the work I put in to get back to this point. It stays the same. That's all. I just keep the same work rate up and the same work ethic because I know now, you know, everybody want to come after me. We just, your boy just won a big, massive win. Foster won here in, in, in San Antonio, Texas. Just talk about it because I know you were celebrating. You were on your feet the entire time. Yeah, bro. I'm just so happy, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know I know the fans, you know, they hear his words and they hear him saying all the obstacles he's been through and all that, but they don't really know him personally. I know mm -hmm. him personally. I know all the stuff he's been through. I know all those things. You know, I know all the stuff he had to go through. People was writing him off and stuff. But for me, bro, I knew what he can do because I spoke this dude. Like, and listen, like, he gave me good work and he's a 30 pounder. And I'm a 40 pounder. I'm a, I'm a 40 and I'm a big 40 pound and I'm one I, I think I might have if I'm not mistaken some of the most knockouts at 140 <laughs> yeah. and this dude like he gives me you know real real good work so I just knew how good he was it just it's always just for the world to see it bro and so now the world got to see really how good he was and bro, I mean he really didn't even get touched you know what I'm no, saying he so, didn't. yeah bro I just it, it just shows bro how, how elite he is this dude he fought was undefeated you know two division three division champion something like that and he just outboxed him easily it was an easy night didn't get hit so you know, it's just, it just, it just showing people, you know, what we already knew. Regis, thank you so much for speaking with Fight Hope TV. Thank you for always giving me the time. I know the last time when I saw you and it was in Atlanta, yep. and uh, you know after that Jake Paul fight with uh, um, I fought, first, I mean, yeah. yeah I so, mean. but continue, keep on thriving, and thank you so much for giving no us the problem, time. Man. And again, congratulations on the big win. I also put you on the map, but uh, wishing for the best for the rest of the year, and hopefully one of these big fights come around. Hopefully thank you so, so much, Regis. No problem, thank brother. you. Yep.